Hello, Year 3. It's your second grammar and punctuation activity for Week 4 of the online learning. And we're going to carry on looking at this punctuation mark. Yes, it's the exclamation mark. Okay, so everything we do with the sheet will be linked to understanding how and when exclamation marks are needed. And we're going to use them correctly. So the learning objective is at the top of the sheet, and it's to understand when exclamation marks are needed and to be able to use them. So you can refer back to that while you're doing the activity to check you're on track. Now for the first task, you need to make these sentences into exclamation sentences using the word what to open each one. The first one has been done for you. So he is a tall man is changed to what a tall man he is. So they've added what a and an exclamation mark at the end. So number two, it is a good dog. How could we change that? Well, we would put what at the front because that's what they've asked us to do. And would what it is a good dog, does that make sense? It doesn't, does it? So we need to change the words around a bit. It would become what a good dog it is. So we move the A um, after what instead of it is, and the it is goes to the end. Okay, there's a similar pattern with all of these. So that's what you need to do for task one. Task two, you need to read the passage. It has no sentences. You need to put it into seven sentences. No more, no less, seven sentences. There are two exclamation sentences and two question sentences. So what's four out of seven? That leaves how many left? Quick bit of maths. Yes, it leaves three sentences left. So the other three sentences will just be um, full stop sentences. Okay. So when you've finished, you can check, right, do I have two exclamation sentences? Do I have two question sentences? And the other three just with full stops. If you have done so, then you've probably completed the task correctly. So let's read the passage without sentences to see if it sounds right. It was Emma's birthday. She was so excited what presents might she be given. She ran downstairs. Emma felt really happy. Where might the presents be? They were piled up on the kitchen table. Does that sound right? No, of course not. So we need to add the punctuation and break this into seven sentences. Let's see if we can find the first one. So right at the start, it was Emma's birthday, she was so excited, what presents might she be given? No, that's, that's too long, isn't it? And what about this first letter? Is that a capital? It's not, is it? So when you rewrite it, add a capital. Every sentence needs to start with a capital letter. So I think the first sentence is this. It was Emma's Birthday. Oops. It was Emma's birthday. Excuse my messy handwriting. It's quite hard writing and filming. Okay, so there's one. So you need to find the next six sentences on or in the passage. Okay, and once you've done that, task three, right at the bottom, find your reading book, anything you're reading at home, and you need to find two exclamation sentences. Then write them down as a record and hand them in with your homework next week. Okay, thank you very much. See you soon.